Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman and uh, Dr. Yellen. Thank you for being here and uh, offering your testimony today. And you mentioned several times that the unemployment rate is still too high. And clearly, we as elected officials representing our constituency would agree with that. Now, in April, you made some remarks to the Economic Club of New York. And at that time, you said that the central tendency of the Federal Open Market Committee participant projections for the unemployment rate at the end of 2016, so this is still out, you know, a year and a half, would be 5.2 to 5.6 percent. And for inflation, the central tendency is 1.7 to 2 percent. You kind of mentioned the 2 percent again today. So if this forecast was to become a reality, you mentioned, the, ec the economy would be approaching what my colleagues and I view as maximum employment and price stability for the first time in nearly a decade. So I guess I'm just kind of wondering, because you didn't want to put a number on maximum or full employment today, but you referenced this in April. In light of the unemployment rate being around 4.5 percent in the middle part of the last decade, you're indicating that maybe full employment or maximum employment is significantly higher, that 5.2 to 5.6 percent range. I mean, is, is that the new normal that, we're, that you're potentially targeting for full employment? Uh, so this is um, a number that um, is purely a get, purely a get guess based on empirical evidence uh, that each member of our committee is asked to make every three months. What they're trying to write down is the level of the unemployment rate that they think would be consistent with stable inflation rather than gradually rising inflation over time. And um, based on the evidence that they see, uh, their current read, and these are, again, just estimates and um, something that changes uh, from time to time, but their best assessment, most of them are in a range of 5.2 to 5.6 percent. Now, when unemployment was as low as um, 4 percent previously, to some extent, um, that may have involved overshooting. It's nothing that says that 5.2 to 5.6 is a, is a, um, you know, a, a floor on how low unemployment can go. Uh, uh, for example, in the late 1990s, unemployment fell well below those levels. But there may have been special factors, an increase in productivity growth and um, a strong dollar appreciation of the dollar that was holding inflation down and made that uh, happy coincidence of very low unemployment and stable inflation possible. So at the moment, this is their best guess, and it's where they envision the economy as being in 2016. Yeah, and you mentioned, too, that um, it was nice to, well, in general, with the April jobs numbers that came out, it was nice to see the unemployment level fall, right, to 6.3 percent. But that labor force participation rate, which you said you wanted to look at the details of that labor force participation rate, um, it fell to essentially tying a low, 62.8 percent. And that was one of the most concerning numbers for me, is 800,000 people that have now left the workforce, right, or the labor force has declined by 800,000 people. That's a pretty significant number. What would, what do you envision the labor force participation rate might actually be if we hit that 5.2 to 5.6 percent full employment rate? So it's a little bit hard for me to give you an estimate of that. We had a huge move. Uh, it is very unusual to see a four-tenths percent decline in the unemployment rate in a single month with a comparable move uh, in labor force participation. Um, we always tell ourselves, and I'll state, state uh, I think one should not make too much of any single month's numbers. My preference would be um, to look at those labor force and labor market statistics over three or six months months to get a read on things. If we do that, um, what we see is the unemployment rates come down. Uh, for the last six months, job growth has been, employment has been gaining about 200,000 jobs a month and somewhat higher over the last three months. The labor force participation rate, it's bounced around, but it's been roughly stable. So uh, it came down, it had gone up previously. Or over the last six months, it's been roughly stable. Um, which is, um, I think there is a declining labor force participation rate as a trend. So a stable labor force participation rate could signify that some cyclical 
uh, slack in, in, the labor, in the labor market is gradually diminishing over time. So looking over uh, three to six months, I would say the patterns we're seeing are consistent with improvement in the labor market. Thank you. 